Hi, this is the first video in Unit 1, Introduction to Accounting for the 11th Standard CBSC Curriculum. In this video, I am going to look at what are the topics that CBSC has uh, suggested we discuss in this unit. And this will be followed by other videos which take up respective uh, points in the uh, topics and cover them in detail. From the CBSC syllabus, the unit one is called Introduction to Accounting. CBSC recommends we take 10 periods for this, which means roughly 10 sessions of 45 minutes each. Okay. This accounts for about 5 marks in the total CBSC syllabus, um, find the final question paper. In this, the first thing we do is to take and define what is accounting. So this is one of the common things that are asked, define accounting, what is meant by accounting. Then we go into objectives of accounting. Why do we need accounting function? What are the advantages and limitations of accounting? Accounting is not a panacea for everything. At the same time, it's essential for certain things. So what are the advantages? What are the limitations? What are the types of accounting information? We're going to see things like profit and loss account, balance sheet. What do, what do these things stand for? Why do people need it? Finally, this is also going to look into users of accounting information. These are also called stakeholders. Different people want different kind of information from the accounting information system. After all, accounting is an information system and different people have different needs. So this is what we are going to discuss in the first part of the unit. The second part of the unit gives various terms that we are going to use throughout the course and give formal definitions for these terms. There are about 20 odd terms. And if you look, look up your course book, you will find formal definitions for all of these things. In case you have unit test or any of those things that you're going to be tested immediately, you can look at the definitions in your textbook. What we're going to do is that we are not going to define all these terms as a part of the uh, this unit itself. As we move forward, as we re require these terms, as we find a need for these terms, we will define these terms. And at the end of this unit, we will summarize all the definitions in one place, which you can also find in your course book. One more thing to note, or note uh, when you watch these videos, like, like I said, for this unit we may have, say, four videos. I will not go exactly in the same sequence as what the syllabus has given. For example, syllabus has given objectives, advantages, limitations, etc. I may go in a slightly different sequence, which I believe will enhance the readability or understandability of the material that we are presenting in this unit. At the end of watching all the units, for this, uh, sorry, all the videos for this unit and when you take the assessments at the end of each video and at the end of the unit, you should be in a position to clearly know, articulate and express yourself on all the concepts that this unit deals with so that eventually you are ready with the foundation to take on subsequent units. Okay. So, with this brief introduction, I will stop this video. In the next video, I will start by definition of accounting. We will spend some time looking at what the steps of accounting are. Okay. See you in the next video.